In last night's meeting, we also asked about an open records request we filed back in March, which still hasn't been granted. News Force Kaylee Olivas found state law unfortunately allows for something like this to happen. Accountability and transparency, it's all we're looking for. But we've been waiting 100 days to get you answers on the alleged pornography in schools. There shouldn't be a single classroom in the state that has pornography in front of our kids. I'm going to continue to work till that's all eliminated. But which schools has he found pornography in since becoming state superintendent? What specific books showed inappropriate material and what consequences did those schools face? We've been asking these questions for the last 100 days. Two months ago, the State Department of Education's Open Records Request Coordinator told us our request was, quote, awaiting approval. Eight days later, we were told we could no longer go through her for updates and were referred to a spokesperson who often hasn't replied. That's just way too long. I mean, 100 days is a huge, think about how much time that is in a student's life. So on Thursday night, we asked Superintendent Walters what the holdup is. Tomorrow, it will be 100 days since I filed an open records request with your office. Why have I waited 100 days? I have responded to more open records requests in the six months I've been there. Hold on, hold on than Joy Hoffmeister did in her entire second term. I'll check on that. Kaylee, I, I don't know what you're talking about specifically. I'll check on that tonight. On Friday, Walters' office told us it's working as quickly as possible to complete our request. We wanted to know if others were getting the same treatment. In the last seven months, this administration has received more than 350 records requests. Allegedly, only 31 requests still sit unfulfilled, including four of ours. The state attorney general's office told us it's received multiple complaints about OSDE not filling open records requests. But unfortunately, the law doesn't mandate a time frame of when the request must be fulfilled. Our open records request law doesn't have any definition of what reasonable or prompt is. And so that means government interprets it all kinds of different ways. In Oklahoma City, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. Senator Kirk plans on pushing open records request deadlines during next year's legislative session. And we told our 100-day request is processing, but weren't given any other updates. But we'll let you know when we find out.